Hey houseplant friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm here at a succulent day and I'm gonna give you a houseplant shop tour. It is my birthday and so I thought I would come and look at the plants, do a little bit of me time, my birthday, enjoy my own company and come to one of my favorite plant shops in the whole world. It is so loaded in here. I cannot wait to show you everything. I'm not gonna be buying probably too many things if I do buy anything because Christopher came here yesterday, the day before my birthday, um, <laughs> when they were closed and uh, they were nice enough to help him out and pick out a couple plants to surprise me for my birthday. And so he picked me up a couple plants and you'll see those in a separate video later, but they have some really nice plants here and I just really wanna show you them. So let's get to the plants. Don't forget to check out my YouTube channel memberships if you wanna continue to support this channel and me doing this full time. And also don't forget to hit like and subscribe and say thank you to Trevor and Jen for letting me in. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so this is a uh, philodendron giganteum. Trevor's trying to put up right now, but it is not, it is not giving him the time of day. It's not small. <laughs> it's not small. <laughs> Understatement of the year right there. That's amazing. What's your guys' favorite plants? Oh, right now I'm a really big fan of this guy. Oh, yeah. That one. I know you keep talking about, about him so much. <laughs> I love, right now, <laughs> the bikens because I have one at home and I'm trying to nurse it back to health. Aww. It's just a little cutting, so. Okay, so let's start over here with some of my favorite plants, the mikens. I think you guys will be surprised how many mikens are actually here today. There are very many. We have some really beautiful little peperomia frost, and then they have this really beautiful uh, pubicalyx splash. And I really would like to have one, but I have one of these already, so. I'm just going to enjoy the one that I have at home. Down here we have some really pretty cacti and then some little green marantas. I've been really wanting to try some green marantas lately. Over here they have these really, really beautiful Diffenbachias. I haven't really liked Diffenbachia before, but this kind of reminds me of the Syngonium scrambled egg. Over here we have a couple more of these uh, splashy pubicalyxes. They are very splashy, oh my lord. These guys are $30. That is so beautiful. These get pink if you put them in the sun. They get uh, very, very pink. Then down here, we have this really beautiful, I think it's a uh, Syndapsis Splash. And this is one I have liked for a really long time. Never really been able to see one in person, except for at a Peace, Love, and Happiness Club up in Seattle. It's a really nice little lemon lime. Maranta. I, I like this plant more and more. I see it like every single time. One of these days soon, I think I'll pull the trigger if I see it. <sighs> when it's the right moment. Here's these really pretty syngoniums. And this one has like a little, little spot on it. So I'm like, are you sporting? What's your vibe? But I think he's just like really weird on that one leaf. And here we have some six inch micans. My, uh, what is it called? Magnum opus? I don't know. I can't help it. I love this plant so much. It's so hard for me not to buy one. Literally every single time I see one ever. It's amazing. And then tons of these uh, pink syngonium guys. Right here we have a ton of potted succulents. I think that these always look so nice. This is kind of like what Succulent Day started doing forever ago. I haven't really seen like potted stuff like this, especially cactus. And they just look so nice. I really like that one. And they're all like really good prices too, in my opinion. Like some of them are extremely cheap. They're so cute. Like I would buy this in a heartbeat if it wasn't tight right now. $15 for this cute little friend. Are you kidding me? That is so pretty. You guys, they have Hoya Macrophylla Vergata. I can't quite reach it. I am just a little too short. It's a good time for uh, the plants to get in town. I think Brooke comes into town tomorrow. Okay, so I went and got this one down for you. Well, Jen got it down for me. But look at this, this is Hoya Macrophylla Vergata. I think, well, it's the first time I have seen it uh, locally. And look at his arm. He's got such a long arm, that's amazing. This guy is $30 for an entire pot. I think that that personally is an amazing price. 
I love how wide the leaves are with the white border. I think it is very nice. My favorite version of this is the pot of gold, which I have at home. Then I got down this other PB Calyx splash because I thought this looked like a much fuller one than the other ones we had seen. And I just wanted to show you guys how pretty <laughs> this plant is just so pretty. Like, how could you not okay. like this, you know? Oh, great. Here yeah. Okay, very yeah. cool. Uh, and All then right. Very good. Mm. Yeah. That is an Aguanina panther. I keep coming to, back to this guy specifically, but I have two of these. I need to cool it. Cool my jets. I got some really pretty string of hearts up here. You guys are $24. They are very brilliant. Look at that. It's wonderful. And look at all these different string of string of things we got a little string of turtles right there some variegated string of pearls some string of needles so okay up high we have some philodendron brazil some monstera adansoniae's there is oh, actually a lot of narrow. We have some asparagus ferns up here, some golden pothos, and a bunch of cactus. The Adansonii, though, are really, really nice today. I'm really liking those ones. We actually have some silver sword, which is really nice. It's becoming a staple of Boise, it feels like. And for us to have, like, just have this around Boise is really exciting because this is not a plant you really see too often at all. So I just picked up this Adansonii. It is $20 and it is a very nice little one. It almost looks a little bit different. I really like it. Then in here we have some uh, Hoya lacunosa. Looks very nice. Whenever I see this plant specifically, I always check for peduncles because, like you know, it's at least mine flowers all of the time. This one is $48 for a six inch. Then right here, we have some Shepardii, which are these longer needled ones. In the back over here, we do have some Carnosa, which is really nice. We got some smaller four inch varieties right here. Looks like a Hoya Chelsea is among them, which is another one of my favorite staple uh, common house plants. I love it. Super exciting though. We have a ton of these Raven ZZs. I mean, they're so dark, they're not even absorbing like my light. And then we have a ton of this uh, Syndapsis trubii Moonlight, which is my first time actually seeing one in person. People always scoop them up before I get to get there. These are $42. It's wonderful. I keep coming back to this this one specifically. Like this one is really, it looks like a ring sand to me, kinda. Then we have Clethia orbifolia hiding right here behind it. Down here, we have a ton of little pothos. We got a little uh, pearls and jade right here. Some marble queens, some neon. Decide, I also think this is really cool, this uh, monkey cut plant, which I know it sounds so silly saying that, but. This is Nepenthes ventrata, which is a very fun little pitcher plant. I don't think I've seen before. We got quite a few of them here. They're very delicate, so if you ever handle these in stores, make sure you don't accidentally smash their little cups. Look at this one right here. That has the liquid in it. You can see it in there. Now that is awesome. 24. Oh, shut up. I have wanted one of these for so long. Oh my gosh, I love these. Okay, so this is a carnivorous plant, you guys, that has little, like, hairs on the top of the leaves. And then it catches the plant and then, like, kills them. Pangancula gigantia butterwort. $18, wow. That is so exciting. 
And in the back, oh my goodness, look, 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 look. Okay, maybe we'll do carnivorous, question mark? I have also wanted to give these bad boys a shot because those are so neat. I just don't even know the first thing about care. Like, not anything. Look at that, that is so awesome. I love, I don't know if you guys can see. Look at the little ribbing on the side right here. The very top of that. Oh, sounds good. That is seriously so awesome. And it's mature enough. There's even like liquid in there. Okay, you guys. So I want to show you what I'm picking out. So there is this guy, which I really like. He's a little smaller, but I think he's really, really wonderful. It's Nepenthes ventrata, tropical pitcher plant. And it has these most beautiful blushing lines on the top of it. It's putting out a new baby here soon. Then I'm picking out both of these sundews. Uh, they're each different. One of them is albino. Uh, so it has this like kind of pinker vibe. The other one is this kind of red vibe. And I think that they are perfect and I need them both. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. That's awesome. So I know it's bright. I wanted, this is miserable. This is awful lighting. I wanted to show you guys one final thing I got. So it's two different pots, but they had them sitting together, like on top of each other. So it's this really cute white pot with this pink base and it fits perfectly. And I was like, can I grab that? And they were like, yeah. I was like, just a little cash pot. It looks kind of ugly because the box is square, but I think that that will be really pretty once I can actually repot him, once he's not so stressed. That's it, that's the video. Thank you for watching. Come on, guy, I believe in you. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. I am still working on getting the end card thing. You might see it at the end of this video, and you might not, <laughs> sorry. It's just a lot of names to get down, and I am working on it, so. I just want it to look nice. I feel like I always just kinda like half butt my end cards and I really want to have like a nice one and it's taking a minute to make one that I'm really proud of. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and tweet me at Plant Me Ashley. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Plant Me Ashley as well. And Twitch. I am going to be start be going live again very soon here. Uh, the new Animal Crossing expansion just came out so I think I'm going to be playing some of that and I think that will be fun. So thank you guys so much. Thank you so much to all of my members for being there and supporting me. Thank you for the birthday wishes. It's been a fun birthday. I rocked out to some, so embarrassing, not embarrassing, it's not embarrassing, some anime openers in the car. I was singing, it was very fun, and I'm um, just enjoying my birthday, honestly, with my own company. It feels really good to enjoy yourself, just to hang out with yourself, you know? Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next houseplant section. Goodbye.